What's up Transformers fans, I'm Mondo and this is another Moonbase 84 transmission. To wrap up my coverage of Transformers news from SDCC 2024, this video is all about the Energon Universe comics from Skybound. But before we do, if this is the first transmission you've ever received from us, please give us a like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I would really appreciate it. I've been loving all of the Energon Universe comics so far, and honestly, I can say I don't remember the last time a comic had me so eagerly waiting for the next round of issues to come out every month. Of course, Transformers is my number one title, but the mini-series leading up to November's G.I. Joe book have been great as well. Then there is the fantastic original IP from Robert Kirkman, Void Rivals. Naturally, I checked out the SDCC 2024 Hasbro Pulse interview with the EU team, and I really liked what they were saying. Clearly, these guys love the Transformers and Joe properties, and their work definitely reflects that. Comics are obviously much different than toys, so unlike the toy reveals, the team didn't really give too much away for what's in store for our favorite bots. And I'm totally okay with that because I don't want the upcoming story spoiled. However, there was some information that was shared and one potentially cool thing that's pure speculation on my part, but would be awesome if it ends up being true, so let's talk about it. As I mentioned, the ongoing G.I. Joe EU title kicks off in November, right after Destro and Scarlet wrap up. I like how they use the now four miniseries to build up to the proper Joe title. I like even more that Josh Williamson will be the writer. I've enjoyed his writing since his flash run, and I think he's done a good job with the Joe minis he's written so far. Void Rivals doesn't seem to be slowing down either. I enjoy this title a lot. The underlying story isn't really anything new, but how it is written makes it seem fresh. I would still read this title even if it was totally unconnected from the Energon universe. Being in the EU does enhance the book though, and the appearance of Springer has been cool. Soon, Springer won't be the only bot traipsing around the sacred ring though. Hot Rod lands on the ring in issue 15. If I remember correctly, we last saw him in the free comic book day EU one shot, so it's cool to see that he's going to be more of a factor. The Joe and Void Rival stuff is exciting in its own right, but what I'm pumped the most about, of course, is what we learned about Transformers. First, a big congrats to Daniel Warren Johnson for winning two Eisner Awards this year. He won for Best Ongoing Comic as well as Best Writer Artist for his work on Transformers. D-Dubs is a fantastic talent and an even better guy, so well deserved and long overdue in my book. Originally, reports stated that he was leaving Transformers after issue 12, but screenshots from Skybound's Energon Universe panel confirmed that isn't the case. On screen, they have the cover for issue 15, and it has him as the writer, so in my book, that is great news. Speaking of screenshots from the panel, they also showed a cover for issue 13, and in this issue, Omega Supreme will be making his Energon Universe debut. Rounding back to the screenshot of issue 15, that shadowed bot on the cover sure looks like my favorite Decepticon combiner, Bruticus. The Combaticons have been in the book for a bit now, and I have been waiting for them to merge at last. Now, as I said, the EU team didn't reveal too much, and that does make sense considering the medium. But at the end of the Hasbro Pulse interview, D-Dubs did drop a little tidbit that got the gear spinning in my head. Wrapping things up, the interviewer asked the team if there were any little teases they could share. D-Dubs smiled and dropped the words, Hiss Tank. Could this mean that when we next see Megatron in the comic, he will have taken a Hiss Tank for his alt mode? That would definitely be a cool way to tie the comics to the Transformers G.I. Joe collaborative toy line. I agree with most that, sadly, the Megatron Hiss Tank isn't the greatest toy, but I still think it's a great idea for the comics, and it does make sense for Hasbro to have that connection between comics and toys. That will about wrap things up for this video. I will finish by saying that year one of the Energon Universe was awesome, and what little information that we got at SDCC 2024 suggests that year two might just be even better. Thanks to everyone for all of the support, and as always, thanks for docking.